right, guys, we are going to go from the beginning to the end of my gua sha routine that I do every night. You really can do it three to five nights a week to see results, but I try to do it every night, and sometimes I'll do it in the mornings if I'm extra puffy. So, we, what we're going to do is we're going to be really quick. I'm going to go straight through my routine. If there's any questions at the end, it's late at night. I'm fixing to do it. I thought, I'm going to go ahead and record this. That way, I can save it into my highlight reel. And if anybody else wants to grab their stone next time, and they can go back and watch it, and they can do it along with me a couple times, and then you'll get the hang of it. All you do, we're going to start on our chest, and we're going to move all the way up. We're going to come back down, and like I said, we're going to try to make this really quick. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. I won't be talking much through it because I just want to show you what my routine is. So if you want to do it along with me, grab your gua sha stone, and let's get started. Hey, Carrie, let's gua sha. Okay, so the first thing I do is open up. They call it termini. I call it the drainage ports. So you just kind of go on each side of your neck, and you're just going to pump it. I usually pump about in seven to eight times so i'm going to pump in different places to open up those little ports and then we're going to grab our stone and we're going to just hit it okay so let's just start here so you go on each side of your neck right in the little hollows and then you just pump it just a few times under your ears in front of your ears under each corner of your mouth. And here I do circular, like little J's. You don't have to put a lot of pressure either. And then I go on each side of my nose, almost to where you can feel the, the your bone. And I just kind of do half circles there. I do in the corner of my eyes. Again, just little half circles. And then I do above my eyebrows. Sometimes you can feel your sinuses open up just by doing that. Okay, now grab your stone. So we're gonna start on our chest. And when I do my stone, I don't hold it um, perpendicular like this. I hold it at an angle. So when I, when I pull it, I hold it at an angle. So you're gonna start with a clean gua sha stone and make sure your face is um, got like a facial oil. Sometimes I'll do it in the shower when I'm washing my face. If it's wet, as long as it's not going to catch and drag, you're good. And if you need a facial oil, I've got a link for you. So just let me know. So we're going to start in our chest. I always hold my fingers this right here and I'll do this about seven to ten times. And the other way. And then you start right below the ear and you go down seven to ten times and sometimes I'll do a little shimmies and then the other side and then I'll start here and I'm gonna tell you guys I do it on and off you will see results in about two weeks. I've been doing it for about a week and a half, solid. I can already see results. Where you get a shimmy stone, I can uh, I can send you a link. This is $5, it's a rose quartz one. I'll send it to you, Jamie, I'll message you off of Amazon. Off of the Amazon. Okay. So once you got that done, then you're going to turn it this way because this is a perfect angle for your chin. Sometimes you can hold here if you need to hold your skin top, but I just usually place it here and then I go up to my ear. Fluid sits in this area right here. So all we're doing is we're moving it to those little drainage spots that we opened up earlier. Seven to ten times is what I do here. You can do it as little as three to five times, or you can do it as many as you want. You can do it over ten. And then for good measure, I always go down real quick. And then we'll go to the other side. And 
move down the other side. So we got that. Now we're gonna start right here. Again, seven to 10 times. Turn it this way. Right over your cheekbone. I put my cheekbone right in that denture, right in that indention. And then right here, you just kind of can break up those sinuses. And then up under my eye. If your eyes are puffy, like in the morning, you can put this in the refrigerator too and make it a cool stone. And then I'll show you what to do with it next. If you're ever having a lot of sinus trouble, you can do this a couple of different times. Little shimmy never hurt anyone, right there. And then you can even put this right here under your eye and this will help to de-puff. And then on this side, I will go back here, just a time or two for good measure, just because I like to do that. This is where I feel like I need the most work. Then we're gonna start with the other side. <laughs> yeah, you better share with your mama. Turn it. And go here, break that up. And then break it out. Oh yeah, I'd like to go to a spa and have them just do a redo over my whole body. Okay, my sinus is already opening up from that. So now we're gonna go up here to where you have those 11s right here. Those are called 11s. So we're gonna break those up. I just go up and down right there. And then I'm gonna go sideways. And then like me, I have these lines right here. Break those up. Then when you get through, the directions that you're always gonna go is towards those little drainage ports that you opened. And then just for good measure, I do this a few more times. Even though I'm technically done. And then I, just a few more times, go right here. Right along my jawline. Yep, I do this every night in the mornings. If I wake up and I'm extra puffy, I'll do it then too. So that's pretty much my face. I will go in with my lips as well. I always put a lip oil on at night and then I will go through and I will just kind of go all along my lip border. This is gonna increase the blood flow. And the more you do it, you'll have a little bit more of a fullness to your lip. And that's it. You don't have to do as much as me and it would cut down on your time. But if you have a little extra self-care time, take it, you know? Um, I have these neck rolls that are just, I hate them 
but I'm going to tell you, I can tell just overdoing this that my neck is even smoother. So, um, it is a difference. And I can tell it also in my jawline, which is where I really want it. So, I'm going to go wash my stone. I always, um, always start with a clean stone and always end by washing your stone so that it'll be clean for the next time. And that is how I wash up. So, I'm going to save this to my highlight bubble. And um, whenever you feel like re-watching it so you can get, go along with me, grab it. And then we can go step by step and fly through it. And then after that, it'll take you a time or two. And then you can do it on your own. So, thanks for watching. 11 o'clock at night. <laughs>